Hey guys, welcome. <laughs> we are not safe here. Let's go somewhere else. Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be covering a Octane guide. Now, Octane is an incredible, good solo legend. He is insane. I prefer him to people like Wraith, Valkyrie, etc. Um, he is great. He's awesome. He's, he's got a great tactical. He's got a great ultimate. Both work really well. Now, the, th the reason why I think he's super good and one of the highest pick rates is because his abilities not only help himself, but they also help the teammates, both his tactical and his passive. Mostly the legends have an ability that helps themselves and one that helps the team. Octane's got two abilities that help himself both and also both help the team. So let's have a little look about why Octane is so good. Um, first of all, I do want to say, if you are enjoying the video, uh, please consider subscribing. Every time it goes up by one, a tear drops from my eyes something to see really now octane is super good not only do you have his tactical which is the stim which he injects himself and gives him a speed boost it also you also get a jump pad it is absolutely unreal it's so fun to use there's so much stuff you can do as octane the stim is great for yourself to get away from fights to initiate fights or to strafe in in the middle of a fight and and throw off the enemy but it's also good and can help your team by flanking by by you know, zooming out right, zooming out left, and then popping a syringe as the, as the as the stim pops out, which gives you a nice little boost. And then you can flank the enemy, get you know, get up behind them, confuse them, uh, or you can use it for epic Mission Impossible escapes. I want to just watch this clip with you and kind of explain. I do tackle well a one v three as the round as the zone is approaching. So let's just watch this. Um, I will say, just 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 pause the video quickly. I am running an iron in iron and a longbow. I really enjoy. Um, a longbow as a, you know as a as an octane player i really do enjoy the a sniper but i will cover that later as you can see i am i am moving i'm doing exactly what an octane should do i am zooming all over the shop you literally cannot cannot catch me um i down one i down the the bangalore which leaves me against whoever the last person is Spoiler, they die. You can see me stimming, still in the zone, because I know my my uh, my help. You know my HP is insanely high. It's good to use the stim in the zone in the right situations. If you're just running to get to the zone, you don't need it. Wait till you're there. Regen everything when you get there. The strafing between shots is insanely powerful. Um, you know, it's 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 really easy to to strafe left and right and distract the enemy team. Now I do kind of go on a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to timeline this video so you can jump forward to head. But this is going to be the rundown. Now, we're going to be jumping into firing range and going over his abilities. I'll be giving my tips and tricks per ability. And then I'm going to be talking about the guns, the loadouts, what I would choose as, as Octane from the snipers to energy weapons to heavy guns. I'm going to be covering them all. Um, and then I'm going to be going over the backpack managing, how I manage a backpack as Octane. And then, and then finally, we're going to play a game together. I do want to just clarify. I have done this guide before. I did it last night and then I got to edit it today and the video did not record well. It's really jittery, it's really buggy and I actually won the first game. When I did my first guide, the Bangalore guide, which came out last week, I won the first game. So I, I don't know how the, the game's going to go later. But anyway, let's jump into the fire range and see how we really do. So before we get into the fire range, I just want to take you to the finishers. Now, finishers uh, are very negligible differences, but every little helps in a, in a game like Apex Legends where it's very fast paced. Now we have full throttled, the, the legendary Octane. This is 5.3 seconds finishing time. Hot drop, however, the original one, this one here, is actually 5.6. So it's 0.3 seconds quicker to go for the full throttled. Um, so I would definitely, as I said in the Bangalore video, definitely look at full throttled if you're looking to really big up your Octane plays. Right, now, first up, Octane is a very vocal legend. He's got a lot of abilities, as, as I said earlier, that can help his team and also help himself. So you need to be using a microphone as Octane, in my opinion. He, he is a legend you need to be very vocal with. So please make sure that the enemy, that your team know, not the enemy, your team know exactly what your plan is. Are you launching a jump pad? Are you going to stim and flank? Uh, do you, are you going to stim and escape and get out of there? So you do really need to be telling your team, you know, all the time what you're doing as an Octane. But because we've tackled that, 
Let's go straight into his passive. So his passive is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Your health will regen after a small amount of time. Obviously, if you are in the zone, you will die from it, but you will regen at a nice rate. Because of this, I don't carry a lot of uh, a lot of med kits. Um, I carry syringes, and even then, I don't carry a lot of syringes. Um, as you can see, but the like the health bar down low, you do actually regen a fair amount. Um, so let's now talk about the tactical, the stim. The stim is super good, okay? It, it gives you the ability to escape insanely quickly. Let me show you how I kind of work out the stimming and, and how I avoid spam stimming. Spam stimming is spam stimming is good, but there's no one that can catch up to you apart from a Bloodhound with his ultimate, Valkyrie with his ultimate, or another Octane that wants to chase you. Now, what I like to do as Octane is pretty simple, okay? So what I will do is I will stim to escape, right? I'll run away. As soon as it gets really low to the end of the stim, um, I'll pop a shield, and then I'll kind of do a little like bunny hop away, um, and then I'll stim again, okay? And then again, I'll do the same thing. When I start getting really low, I'll then pop a, a shield and I'll get a little boost. And then basically, so what I'm doing then is no one's able to catch up with me, but I'll be ducking around, you know, uh, areas like um, little cubby holes where, they, where the line of sight is broken. Um, and then I'll be, you know, like this, duck and hide and then shield up. Um, I like doing that because spam stimming, you, you might run into another team. If they, you know, hit a lucky shot on you, you will be dead. But your shield will be able to kind of, you know, kind of prevent that as such. Um, another way that I like to use his stim, you know, using it alongside his ultimate, is a lot of people, what they do is they throw down their ult and they will they will stim onto it. So, that, so they'll do this. That does absolutely nothing, okay? It does absolutely nothing. It doesn't do anything. Now, a good way to use this, you know, as an example is, say for example, I'm down here and I'm shooting over to the enemies over there, right? So I'm shooting away, I'm shooting like this, and you know, I'm ducking, I'm ducking. I'm overwhelmed, I need to escape. Instead of throwing my pad here, I'll throw it over there and then I'll stim to it. And then I'll get, you know, not only will I be getting away from the enemy team, they have a longer stretch to go to and obviously I've stimmed away. So I like doing that. So so don't use the stim on the pad. Don't use it, you know, as you get on the pad. Um, use it to get to the pad. That's why I always say uh, when people ask for like Octane tips is a really good one because you're basically, you know, making the gap longer between you and the enemy team. And then you're stimming to it, which gives you a boost, especially in the open field. Um, another thing that's good as well is you basically get a free med kit if you stim at the same time. So what so what I'm going to show you here is uh, I'm going to run. I'm going to pop a stim and then I'm going I'm to pop a med kit. Basically, as you can see, I have got full HP. Now on to Octane's you know, best ability. In my opinion, it's one of my favorite abilities in the entire, you know, Apex Legends game. His ultimate, his jump pad. It is super good. It's super, super fun. It's, it comes off cooldown every 90 seconds. Why do I have 60 in my head? Every 90 seconds it comes off cooldown. So please don't be hesitant to use this, but bear in mind, it's always good to keep your abilities for when you need them. For example, using a jump pad to get over there, if your the zone's coming in, you might as well just run. Um, but here are some tips that I like to do with the jump pad. So say for example, there's a team over there, okay? And I want to attack that team. And there's a someone come, there's, you know, there's my team coming behind me. And I want to run in there. Ready? So let, let's have a look. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six seconds to that to that silver silver tray. Okay. Six seconds. So let's go back and then we'll sprint over. I'll pop one stim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only a second quicker to run with a stim. You're looking at maybe what nine seconds, eight seconds. Um, so that should show you that jump pads are not great for you know getting into a fight, moving things quickly. They're really good for repositioning. So if you're in a fight, you can escape with it. If you're 
going into a fight, you can initiate with it if the fight's coming to an end and you want to get in the fight as quick as possible. You don't want to dilly dally let them shield swap. Um, but please don't use the the you know the jump pad to just get somewhere a little bit quicker because you will probably just run it just as quickly. Um, you can throw the jump pads very far, um, so always make sure that you throw them in front of your team um, so that they can you know so they can benefit from it as well. Especially if you're using it to get somewhere, do not use it. Please do not use it. Uh, to loot care packages, to loot other, you know, loot boxes, death boxes quicker. Just be a team player. Don't be that guy. Um, the jump pad will offer you a second, uh, a, a second jump, um, a double jump. Uh, whilst good, um, I don't always use the double jump. The only reason I use the double jump is if I want to stop going where I'm going. So I'm going over here. There's a team. I can jump and I can fall down. Okay. Even then, I'm really open and in the air. The problem with the with the double jump, and I'll show you right now. I go flying over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna double jump. I'm gonna jump, and then I am here. Okay, very very quickly. Uh, but the problem with the double jump is it's very loud. And if you're approach, you know, approaching a fight, the last thing you want to do is show some kind of. Oh no! Which one did I jump from? This one. And then if I don't double jump, let's see where we land. Ready? And then I'll slide. Very similar. But you don't have that, you know, you don't have that that loud second boost. So please think about it when you're looking at double jumping, okay? Now, the pad is really good for, you know, bamboozing uh, your enemies. Um, for example, if you walk up to it and then you melee, um, oh, I shot. You melee and hold back, you will go backwards. Um, it's really good. I do enjoy doing that. It's never really helped me as such because um, it's quite hard to you know, do very quickly. Uh, you can see I missed. Um, the only reason I could, you know, assume that it would come in useful is say there's a box here, right? There's, 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 a, there's an imaginary box here. I run behind the box. The enemy's tracking me. I look like I'm going to be running that way. I throw the pad down. I walk up and I screw it up. But you understand what I'm trying to say. That's the only reason I could see you using it. A way that I like to, to use it, which I've never really seen, it is by is by meleeing onto it and jumping up and down. Now, if you melee onto it, you'll literally just bounce endlessly. It's great fun. Um, I will say, uh, please don't do this to waste time. What I do is I I scout with it. So right now I can look, I can see if see if there's any enemies. Um, if I'm in like a you know a, uh, a fifth round and everyone's closing in and I want to know where enemies are. I can look around and see what's going on. It, it, it provides you a nice, a nice, you know, a, a nice look around the entire area. Uh, one way that I would use it is by there's a jump pad right here. Okay, what I will do, I will jump off of it, right, and then I'll go over here. Um, I'll double jump and then I'll stim. And basically, so I'm not stimming midair, and it will stop the cripple that happens when you land. Uh, you know, like when you like when you you get like a cripple when you pause. Um, that gets rid of it uh, by stimming the minute that you kind of get get on the pad. All right, guys, now let's talk about the gun loadouts. Now, as I said earlier in the clip, I am a massive fan of sniper rifles on Octane. Now, the longbow, the charge rifle and the sentinel, the reason why I prefer, you know, the reason why I enjoy snipers on Octane is because your team can go in, you can shoot from afar, then you can stim and then you can run in and then catch up with your team, do some damage from afar with a sniper rifle, jump straight into, into the fight after your team has started and allows you to get up close and personal. Now, that's not very common. Some people run ARs and shotguns or SMGs. I like to every now and again just run a little bit of a sniper because it can be really good for damaging the team you know, choosing whether or not you want to push in. Uh, the charge rifle, don't use it. Sentinel longbow, unfortunately, these are down to your preferences. I prefer the longbow, but I do find the sentinel is super tasty when you hit those shots. But the longbow can be a little bit unforgiving sometimes. Now, when it comes to the light guns, um, the RE45, P2020 are two guns that you can and can't use. Depends, it's up to you. I'm not going to cover them here. Um, I prefer the, I4, the RE45, but I'm, I'm going to be talking mainly about the R301, the R99 and the alternator. The alternator, get in the bin. I don't like it. It's never been good since it came back out of the care package. So the R99 and the R301 are two guns 
that I would uh, most definitely recommend as Octane. The R99 is great for those close, co you know, those close combats, which Octane is really good at. But I really enjoy the R301. The reason why I enjoy the R301 is not because it's a good gun, it's overused, it's in the meta. The reason why I enjoy the R301 is because I actually carry a two times and a three times in my inventory. So I will grab, you know, these for example. Um, I'll grab an R301. And then what will happen is, is I'll have that in my inventory. If I'm from afar, I'll use the, you know, I'll use the three times, okay? I'm running into a fight. What I'll do is I'll jump and then I will drop the scope. Right, let's try that again. So I'm shooting from afar, right? Oh God, there's a fight going on. I run and jump in. I will then just go and I will replace it. And then I'll be able to shoot the, the two times. What the hell just happened there? Um, so... That's why I really enjoy the the R301 uh, for the ability to, to kind of change scopes. Right, let's talk about the heavy guns. Now, uh, the car is insane. Please use the car. It is super good, super fun to use. It can tear down shields. It can tear down enemies. It is unreal. Please use the car. Uh, as a Octane, the car is very good. The ability to go between heavy and light ammo is always a lovely hybrid. Um, but it's just a very good hip fire gun, which is Octane, you really want to do. Because obviously as you're stimming and you're strafing in, in the stim, if you're shooting the car, and I'll show you right now, um, if you're doing this and then you stim to get yourself a little bit of a boost, and then you shoot, the hip fire you can see there is very good. But I'd definitely recommend the car. Now the Rampage and the 3030, the Rampage is good, it's, it's, it's a very good gun. Um, I don't need to give you any advice on the, uh, you know, I don't personally like the Rampart at uh, the Rampage on, I will never forgive Apex for making a Rampart and Rampage the same thing, okay? Uh, we better not see uh, a player called E, you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, so the 30 repeater is kind of terrible if you can, if you can't miss your, if you can't hit your shots, which is, which I can't. But the 30 I, I stay away from. The Wingman though is super good, especially as an Octane, using it from long range and short range. The Wingman is always good. It's always good on any legend. The Wingman is top dollar. Um, the Prowler is kind of in a weird place because I the Hemlock is just better than the Prowler. It seems to hit harder. Um, you can get a barrel mod for it. The Prowler just seems to be in a weird place. They they obviously had the hip fire selector, which um, was super good. And now that that's gone, it kind of just feels a bit... Um, and then obviously you've got the flatline, the baby. The flatline is incredible, okay? The same thing as the R301. Going from the three to two times is always good. Talking about energy weapons, the triple take is another fan favorite of mine. The ability to go from a three times to a one times as an octane player is insanely good. Um, so with that being said, the, the, the triple take is my favorite. The Devotion and the Havoc are very similar. The Havoc is a lot better because it feels a lot more, you know, a lot more uh, accessible. Than the, uh, than the Devotion. I've never really been killed by a Devotion. I've always been killed by Havocs. Uh, and the L-Star is the L-Star. It's got an L in its name. Never use it. And then finally, the shotguns. You've got the Mozambique and the Eva. I, in my opinion, the weakest shotguns in the game. Don't hate me, Mozambique players. Um, but the Peacekeeper and the Mastiff are insanely good and insanely fun as Octane. Octane requires being up close and personal. As I said, if you're, you know, um, stimming left and right and you're shooting, you can definitely hit your target a lot better than if you're using a assault rifle. Um, and it, it, it does have, it does pack a powerful punch to it. Right, so let's let's talk about Octane's backpack. Now, this is the kind of setup that I would recommend for an Octane. I like shotguns purely because I, I don't have to carry too much ammo. I can carry two stacks, and I like carrying grenades. I'm a massive grenade fan, so I really enjoy holding grenades. So I don't necessarily carry a lot of shotgun ammo. Um, the light ammo, that's what 198 is it bullets? Um, 100, 198. If I hit a shot. And I can't kill someone and get to a death box for uh, for more ammo. I probably shouldn't be playing this game. Two shields, uh, two shield bats. No phoenix kit. No med kits. No need because you're passive. Shield bats are always good. Uh, I love ultimate accelerants. I uh, ultimate accelerants are insane. Um, I I always carry one just just for the sake of of being able to use it again should you need to. Uh, th that can be up for debate. Maybe talk that for another two shield bats. Um, obviously your cooldown on the on the ultimate is insanely quick. Eight shield cells is the ability to shield cell jump around corners is always good. Four syringes, three grenades, and then obviously I carry a three times scope as I said earlier, so I can I can shoot. I want to go long range. I can then just you know go ahead, replace it, and then I can go ahead and shoot, and then I'm going into a fight again, and then I'm back on my two times. 
So that's my old kind of backpack arrangement for Octane. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into a game and see how well we do together. All right, so let's do this. So the first time I recorded this, I won the game. So let's hope I get lucky again. I kind of want to go fight that. Again, I want to tell my team that I'm fighting. They have won and we are on our own here. So if I push this, I'm going to be being dumb. And I'm being dumb. I'm a leaf. Um, as you can see, it's definitely worth it. Play with your team. Definitely good to try and get the high, the high ground. And that shield was swapped. Yeah, and I'm dead. Mad Maggie's got this. I, I truly believe in my... Oh, there's two of them. She's here. Ooh. We're, we're off for one. We're off for one. She's really going to go for it. Come on, Bolas. Oh, and you missed the first. And, and you... Ooh. I had... I told you, I had full faith in Mad Maggie. I want to go over... Ooh. People over there. Another team. Yeah, we should probably leave this fight, to be fair. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get your banners. I'll come round. Let's go for this. Why not? And we're out. And that's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. And I'm going to res, but I'm going to keep my eye open over, over there. Yeah, so that hasn't all been loot. Whoa. I don't think we should be fighting at all. Another team. So that goes the first game. Now, as I said, I only ever played one game. It's annoying because I did win the other game. I did win the first time I played. But um, for now, we're going to leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the thought process that went behind me. I got caught out of position there. I didn't expect there to be a third party. But in reality, that is Apex Legends. As you can see in that fight, we had stims to get away. We had escapes. We had uh, stealthy pickups. We had jump pad techniques. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. If you've made it this far in the video, please leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, and also drop a subscription. As I said, every time a sub happens, um, I... I, I smile.